The Menendez brothers' trial was as brutal as it was infamously glamorized. Eric and Lyle, then 18 and 21, murdered their parents in 1989 at their home in Beverly Hills. So what is life without parole really like for these two? Here's what the Menendez brothers are doing now. It's not supposed to happen in Beverly Hills. A movie executive and his wife were brutally slain in their million-dollar mansion. Despite being convicted murderers, Eric and Lyle received massive amounts of letters in prison from ladies who thought they were just misunderstood. Apparently, the brothers were appealing because they were handsome, rich, and infamous. He was flamboyant. He wanted what he wanted and found a way to get it. So how does the psychology here really work? A criminal profiler and psychologist told News.com that the Menendez brothers might be targeting specific types of women. He said, There are two groups of women who get involved with prisoners. The self-selected group who write to men in jail, and the women who work in jails who then become accomplices. Psychopaths in jail are experts at manipulating people who have low self-esteem. Eric met his wife Tammy through the prison mail system. As she told MSNBC in 2005, We did get very close through letters, and then, you know, the relationship moved forward when I did meet him. But it was through correspondence that he became a really good friend of mine. Eric got down on one knee during a visit, and the pair married in a telephone ceremony in 1998. As Eric explained to People, Tammy is what gets me through. I can't think about the sentence. When I do, I do it with a great sadness and a primal fear. I break into a cold sweat. It's so frightening, I just haven't come to terms with it." Lyle met several women through prison correspondence, including former Playboy playmate Anna Erickson, who started writing him in 1995. But according to News.com, Erickson divorced him in 2001 when she discovered he was writing to another woman. But Lyle wasn't single for long. He married lawyer Rebecca Sneed in 2003 during a ceremony in the prison visiting area. She has since become a defense attorney, according to Rolling Stone. In 2017, Lyle discussed what marriage was like, since life without parole prohibits him from conjugal visits. He explained to ABC News, "...physical comfort is much less important than your connection with the people around you. I found I can have a healthy marriage that is complicated and built around conversation, without all the props that are normally there in marriage in terms of going out to dinner and having as much intimate time together." Variety reported in 2016 that a new true crime series was in development, Law & Order True Crime, featuring the Menendez brothers for episode 1. At the time, the NBC Entertainment president noted, "...this case captured the public's attention like nothing before it, as it examined taboo issues in gruesome detail, all against a backdrop of privilege and wealth." People were not only obsessed with the case, but also with examining how and why these brothers committed these heinous crimes. When you terrorize people, they react precisely as you would expect them to." The series premiered in 2017, but it wasn't the first time that the brother's story landed on TV. There was the CBS miniseries Menendez, A Killing in Beverly Hills, as well as the Fox TV movie Honor Thy Father and Mother, the true story of the Menendez murders. We'll spend the rest of our life in prison. If we're not put in the same prison, there's a good probability I will never see him again. In 2018, the brothers were reunited for the first time in 22 years, when Lyle was transferred to Eric's unit in San Diego's R.J. Donovan Correctional Facility. And as true crime author of the Menendez murders, Robert Brand, told Today, "...the prison officials allowed them to meet together in a room for about an hour, and both brothers immediately became very emotional." The brothers had not seen each other since 1996, and while he has no internet access, Lyle's family posted a since-deleted Facebook message from him, where he said, "...there really are no words to describe what occurred today. Thank you to everyone for the amazing outpouring of joy and happiness over the reunion. It means so much." It appears that the brothers found new fame on social media thanks to TikTok users who are calling for the siblings to be exonerated. In 2021, the New York Times revealed that Lyle and Eric are subjects of, quote, "...hundreds of fan accounts across social media, who are coming out in their defense." One 24-year-old student in London explained, "...when I saw a clip of Eric testifying about his father, I was shocked, to say the least." You cannot escape those memories. Those ghosts, they never leave you. 
They always haunt you. But several of the TikTok videos put the brothers' good looks at the forefront, to the dismay of some of their defenders. One 17-year-old from Australia said, I want people to stop objectifying them and actually focus on the case because their looks have nothing to do with it. People are like, oh, who is this like hot guy on the court stand? You know, like, and then I think people started doing the research into the Menendez case. According to LA Magazine, an Instagram user appealed to California Governor Gavin Newsom to commute the brothers' sentences. As of 2021, a Change.org petition demanding an appeal for the Menendez brothers has over 280,000 signatures and counting. If you or someone you know may be the victim of child abuse, please contact the Child Help National Child Abuse Hotline at 1-800-4-A-CHILD. That's 1-800-422-4453. Or contact their live chat services.